to the Runner X podcast, where we talk about all things running. As many runners know, it's 90% mental. So join Coach Valerie and Coach Caroline as we go through the mental side of running. Welcome back to Tough Love Tuesday. This week, uh, Valerie and I did some podcasting, and the conversation that we had was kind of around weight. Um, you know that I've been trying to lose weight. I've lost uh, about 20 pounds and got about 30 pounds probably left to lose. And I say that uh, with very conservative, like what my body type is, um, where I was able to maintain for the longest period of time in my life, things like that. I'm not being um, overly critical. And if I don't hit that weight, I don't hit that weight. But I just know that that's where my body seems to be the most athletic uh, and can move the best and feel the best. So as I'm trying to lose the weight, I'm trying to do it as a lifetime thing. So I'm looking at food, I'm looking at nutrition, I'm looking at how I eat, when I eat, what I eat, but I'm also looking at strength training. I'm also looking at running, right? And it occurred to me that a lot of people say that they hate running. And I used to be one of those people. I make a lot of jokes about running. I say that I run for bacon. Um, And I do love bacon, so. And I will say that I ran four marathons, three of which, two of which were trained by um, Kung Pao Chicken. (laughs) So I would have Kung Pao Chicken the night before a long run. And then three of them were actually trained uh, with bacon. So I would go out for a long run and I'd come home to the smell of bacon. Uh, That, I'm sorry if I'm offending any vegans with this, but anyway, my point is, is that I'm a big, I joke. I joke about hating running all the time. But really, uh, I do love running because it clears my head. It makes me feel good. Um, But I don't run to lose weight. And that's because, honestly, running long distances doesn't help you lose weight. It actually just um, works your, the only muscle it's really working is your heart and your cardiovascular system. If your only reason for running is to lose weight, then I highly encourage you to go into the 30 day reboot that's on YouTube and just do that 30 days or come into the membership, learn how to run, uh, focus on your running. And then do we have, we take that 30 day reboot and we extend it out to 90 days. And you can do that over and over again. You can get into running plans. You can add more strength training, but if you came in just for a quarter and did the immersion and then did stage one and stage two, I guarantee you'll drop weight. And the reason why you'll drop weight is because you're actually doing high intensity, short interval training. Okay. You're focused training in little bouts of time, anywhere from 10 to 30 minutes at a time. You're not taxing your muscles and your joints. You're actually just taxing your cardiovascular system. You're bringing your heart rate up and then letting it come back down. You're bringing your heart rate up and then letting it come back down. That's why Tabatas are such a rage. That's why HIIT classes were so important with, oh, I can lose weight because I'm going to do my HIIT training, right? That's what our drills are. Our drills are your HIIT training. So if your whole goal is to lose weight when you, as you run, then please come into the membership. We're not about weight training, but we, uh, meaning we're not about weight loss. We are about weight training. We love weight training, but We're not about helping you uh, necessarily lose weight with diet or anything like that. But if you just came in and started learning how to run and doing that high intensity training, you, you will drop the weight. And I bring this up because I often want to ask people that come into the membership or that I meet on the street or that we meet at the clinics that say, oh, I hate running or it's like it's the worst part of my week or I dread getting up for my long run. I want to say, why are you running? Why are you putting yourself through that punishment? Because that's what you're doing. You're putting yourself through a mental and physical pounding when you do that. And you shouldn't do it if you don't enjoy it, okay? It's kind of like, why would I go and play golf? I I don't like golf. Well, I could meet people and I'm networking. Okay, but are you really networking if you suck at golf and you hate doing it and you don't want to practice? You know, if you do it to just go out and have fun once or twice a year, and yes, that's your networking thing and you enjoy it, great. Same with running. If you're just doing it uh, because you enjoy it and you want to get some more joy out of it, then come into the membership and let's teach you how to run pain-free so you can learn to just enjoy and have the joy of falling and the joy of running. But please don't run if you hate it. (laughs) 
<laughs> because it's just going to come through in your running. It's going to come through. It's going to come through in your body. It's going to come through in how you treat the ground. And it's going to come through in your attitude. And you're not going to lose weight. Um, and if you do lose weight, you're not going to sustain it because you're not doing it from the right mind-body connection that I think is sustainable and lifelong. Okay, so I hope to see you in the membership. If I don't, please go through our YouTube channel. Um, 30, it's a 30-day reboot. It's one of our featured playlists. And just try the 30 days and see how it goes. And then if you want to come in and continue on with us and, and enjoy our community, we would love to have you. So I'll talk to you guys next week. Thank you for joining us on the RunRx podcast. If you'd like to know more, join us at www.runrx.fit. And if you have additional questions that you'd like answered on the podcast, email us at support at runrx.fit. 